Here we go, it's match day. It's Sutherland versus Bristol Rovers at the Stadium of Light. And it's going to be an absolutely freezing day. The coldest day of the season so far against Bristol Rovers. 40 mile an hour winds down at the Stadium of Light. With snow, sleet and rain, it's going to be a match. It's going to be a match where we need some strong-willed characters in our side today. And hopefully I'm going for a 3-0 victory to Sunderland. Yes, we can bounce back. Hopefully that horrible match during the week against Walsall will sort us out and put us back on the right track. Last time we got beat at Burton, we went on a great run. So hopefully today we can get three points against Bristol Rovers and put us back in the second place. Unfortunately, I cannot make the stadium alike today and I'm absolutely gutted every year for the last five or six, even seven years. Two Saturdays before Christmas, we go out together, all the lads and workmates from where I work, we go down on a Saturday afternoon and we have a few beers in a nice warm club or pub. And today, it's just happened to be on the same days we play Bristol Rovers at home. I'm absolutely gutted, but the weather's going to be awful, so I'm not going to miss much weather-wise. But hopefully I'm going to miss a great 3-0 victory against Bristol Rovers and hopefully we can win without me being there. Hopefully we can win for those wonderful fans that are going down there to brave the conditions. Each week I do the soccer six with my wife. We take turns. Jeff Stellan's 250 grand. I'll hopefully win this week. This week it's my wife's turn. So I'm following on a coupon. I'm going to put a coupon on on my wife's uh, matches and she's picked Leicester away. Newcastle away, Spurs at home, a draw for Watford, a draw for Wolves and Stoke to beat Aston Villa at Villa. That coupon there, well, £1 sixfold, brings a nice juicy £351. I'll be over the moon with that. I'm putting it on just in case. At the moment, we never get anywhere, so it'll probably not fall to the floor, come to the door, even though I just chucked it to the floor. Anyway, I hope Sunderland win today. And we get three points and all those wonderful fans down at the stadium and I have a great day out. Wincy's down there with Jonas and a few of other me mates, but unfortunately I can't make it. This has been pre-arranged about three months in advance and whoever decided to go out on the 15th of December, well I suppose it happens every year, two Saturdays before Christmas. It's fell this week. Next week we've got a massive match, absolutely massive match down at Portsmouth Fratton Park. I cannot wait. Hopefully we can beat Portsmouth down there. That will be absolutely amazing. But let's get this game over with first. I'm going to go for first goal scorer. Gooch. Hopefully he'll score first. But I'm not bothered. As long as we win and bring the three points home. And Jack Ross has his side playing decent football. Unlike the crap we played during the week. And I'll catch it after the match. Come on lads. Let's hopefully we can win today. Come on. Last Sunday goal for Satan. Matthews catcher. Weather outside is frightful, but Jack Ross has his team playing delightful. And I'll catch you after the match. Come on, three points to the lads. <laughs> well, I'm very sorry I wasn't in the match today. I'm absolutely over the moon. Sun 2, Bristol Rovers 1. Absolutely fantastic result from the lads. Brilliant. Marge's goal was absolutely class. Watch this goal. It's absolutely fantastic. It was a banana skin today. We could have gotten beat. We were 1-0 down early on. But late on, Matthews had a free header. And he put it in the back of the net. Absolutely brilliant. And then the second half, Marge's goal was absolutely fantastic. Marge... Please sign a contract. Tie your name. Listen, we have fucking... We have backed you 100% throughout your career. Sunderland Football Club has backed Marja, Josh Marja, 100% throughout your career. Back Sunderland. Josh Marja, back Sunderland. Sign the contract. Even if next season you want to go... Fucking sign the contract now. It will benefit Sunderland Football Club. You will do Sunderland Football Club a justice by signing a big contract now. I don't want you to go. Sunderland Football Club doesn't want you to go. 
the manager does not want you to go, Josh Marger, please sign the contract. Gooch, sign the contract. We want you to stay at the stadium life. Son the football club. Look at the sorrow. He left far too early. He hasn't had a look in at Swansea. Josh Marger, sign the contract. Stay at Sunderland Football Club. Fucking score a hat full of goals. Absolutely loads of goals for Sunderland Football Club. You will make your money in tenfold. If you leave now, in this January window, right? I'm a bit tipsy, yeah, I've had a good night out. If you leave now, in this January window, you will not make it high up as you would do with Sunderland. Stay at Sunderland, being the first team, you are scoring a shitload of goals this moment in time. You will continue scoring a load of goals because you are class. Josh Marger, goal scoring is fucking fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Josh Marger, stay at Sunderland, you will score goals. Oh, always. If you leave in the January window to a big club, you will be benched. Benched, you'll be bored fucking stupid. And you will not score goals. Stay at Sunderland. Sunderland fans love Josh Marger. Josh Marger is absolutely class. World class. Fucking brilliant. That goal, watch this goal here now. It's fucking fantastic. You won't score these for Man City. You won't score for Liverpool. But for fucking Sunderland, you will score a shitload of goals. I wish I was there today. We went one behind, but we came back. Matthew was a free header, a fantastic goal. One minute in the injury time of the first half. And then second half, Josh Marge just scored an absolutely world-class goal. And we won 2-1. Luton won 2-1. Portsmouth drew one's a peach. Peterborough drew two's a peach. We've gained on Portsmouth. We've gained a Peterborough. We are going to win this fucking league. Next week is a massive... Sorry, next week's a fucking massive match against Portsmouth down Fratton Park. A massive match. You know what it is? Portsmouth top of the league, and people are saying Portsmouth will win at home. I've got this feeling. I've got this feeling deep down inside of me that we can beat Portsmouth next week. What more was on the bench today? I'm so happy for what more. I fucking love what more. What more? Is, is the most intelligent person in the world. What more is the brainiest football on the planet? It's absolutely fantastic. He is clever as fuck. If he didn't make it in football, he would make it in whatever he did. He's brilliant. I love what more. What more is absolutely fucking wonderful. Absolutely beautiful. What more? Talk about what more. You are a beautiful person. A Beautiful footballer. I hope you come back strong as fuck. I hope you call a shit goal, a shitload of goals second half, of, second half of the season. You are absolutely fantastic. Duncan want more. To be honest, in my heart, right here, Duncan want more is my favourite player. Lee Catamall is the second favourite player. I love Lee Catamall. He's been to the club forever in a day. He's a North East fan. Absolutely spot on. What more, Cat and Wall? Third favourite player? John McLaughlin. Brilliant. I love Gooch as well. Gooch is fantastic. But you know what it is? They get promoted this season. The world is our oyster. Stuart Donald, Charlie Metfin are doing an absolutely wonderful job at Sunderland Football Club. A wonderful job. I'm watching Sunderland Till I Die on Netflix now. I'm gonna do a review. <laughs> I'm gonna do a review of Sun Until I Die on Netflix tomorrow. A review. I'm gonna watch eight episodes back to back, binging Netflix. I am gonna watch this. I really am. And I will do a video tomorrow. I'll put it online, and I will tell you my opinions. Yes. Okay. I've had a few drinks. I'm quite drunk. It's been my Christmas night out. Night? Afternoon out. 
Even though I'm happy, I still wish I went to the match. But never mind. We won 2 1. We are. Uh, we've closing down on Portsmouth. Portsmouth have had a fucking shit week. Got beat against Charlton. They drew a day. But we have beaten Bristol Rovers. Absolutely fine. The fighting spirit. Jack Ross. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Soon until I die, right? We had Simon Grayson. Uh, Chris Coleman. Chris Coleman. I like Chris Coleman. I really did. But Jack Ross is the bee's knees. Jack Ross is the main man. He's absolutely fantastic. He knows what he wants. And he's doing a fantastic job for Sunderland Football Club. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Jack Ross, you are... I wish I could meet you now and give you a hug. Because you're absolutely fantastic. Jack Ross, you are doing a great job at Sunderland Football Club. I hope in January... We are given some money to spend. We need a striker. No doubt about this. The day Tom Flanagan was missing, we need a defender. But now we have two games in hand over Portsmouth. And we can, we can take this league. We can really take this league. We can win League One. I know we can't spend a shitload of money because of fair play rules. When we get to the championship, we can spend more money. You know, every fan, every single fan, including me, is behind Stuart Donald. Stuart Donald, we love you. We fucking love you so much. Charlie Medford, we love you. You're likeable. You really are so fucking likeable. I want you to do so well. I want you to fucking get promoted from the League One to the Championship to the fucking Premier League. Honest to God. Even though I'm enjoying Netflix soon until I die, I want the second series to come out. I want to be an absolutely wonderful series. I want us to fucking come from where we are to win League One under Stuart Donald. Stuart Donald, you are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Charlie Metfin, amazing. You know, you have fans who fucking love you. Love you 100%. I love you. We fully fucking love you. We fully was in the box today. I hope you did give him some justice because I... He's a brilliant fan. We feel he is 100% a Sunderland fan. Any away fan who comes to the stadium late, go to the Wee Chief. Watch We feel he. He's absolutely amazing. What a fantastic pre-match show. It's fucking brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We feel he's a, a fantastic Sunderland fan. You couldn't get any better. But you know what I mean? It's Stuart Donald, Charlie Methan. Buy a couple of players in the January window. We want a striker. We want a striker to go with Marja. We need a new defender. Louvrens is in the day. He's a good lad. But we need another defender. I would love a playmaking midfielder. <coughs> you know what it is? Lee Cat People have slid and Lee Cat them all for years. Lee Cat them all, right? I'm 100%. I'm going to say this now, right? <laughs> Fuck it up. <sighs> In the last 10 years, my favourite player is Lee Catamore. He had a bad season in the Premier League, a bad season in the Championship. But League One is awesome. He's absolutely awesome. I fucking love League Catamore's passion, ambition. I would love League Catamore to play for the England side one day. I know I know it's a long way away, but fucking he's absolutely amazing. Lee Catamore, right here. You are the bee's knees. You're absolutely fantastic. I fucking love Lee Catamore. I was gutted when you were injured two or three weeks ago. Absolutely gutted. You are amazing. Lee Catamore is absolutely fantastic. Just the best. Lee Catamore is the best. I hope you have a fantastic season. The second half of the season. 
I hope you are absolutely stay fit, stay fit 100% and you are absolutely amazing. I fucking love you, Kata Mo. Well, that's it. I'm finished. I'm finished. It's been a great day for Sunderland. Portsmouth Drew, get in. Sunderland won, get in. And next see, next week, we'll play Portsmouth away. We are going to beat Portsmouth. I know we are going to beat Portsmouth. I'm 100% certain we are going to beat Portsmouth. Do you know why I know? Because we are Sunderland. Sunderland till I fucking die. Come on!